In this video, I will tell you about the tool that will help you to upgrade to the latest .NET. The tool is called .NET Upgrade Assistant, and it supports upgrades from all versions of .NET Framework or .NET Core or .NET 5.6 and so on to the latest long-term support, standard term support, and preview versions of .NET. It supports the, the variety of project types such as ASP.NET, Azure Functions, WPF, WinForms, class libraries, console applications. It supports upgrades from Xamarin Forms to MAUI or from UWP to WinUI and support for WCF to the latest .NET with using Core WCF is coming soon. This tool is available as Visual Studio extension as well as Common Line tool. In this video, I'll show you the extension and watch the next video for Common Line tool. To get the VSIX, you can go to Visual Studio Marketplace and search for .NET Upgrade Assistant. And here you will see the extension you will need to download. Another way of getting the extension is from Visual Studio where you can simply go to Extensions, Manage Extensions. And here in the search box, type .NET Upgrade Assistant. And here is the extension you need to download. I already have it in my Visual Studio. So once you do too, you will be able to see a new menu item when you right click on your project file in Solution Explorer. So here you will see Upgrade and once I click on Upgrade, the .NET Upgrade Assistant will start. The first question it's going to ask me is what type of upgrade do I want to do? There are a few different types. There is in-place project upgrade that will upgrade my original project. There is also side-by-side -side project upgrade where it will create a copy of my original project and upgrade the copy and leave my project untouched. And there is also side-by-side -side incremental project upgrade. And this type of upgrade I recommend for web applications. And you can watch the video upgrading ASP.NET applications for more details. Once I choose type of upgrade, the next question Upgrade Assistant is going to ask me which version of .NET do I want to upgrade. And here my options are Long, current long-term support version. It's .NET 6 right now, but once we release .NET 8 in November 2023, it's going to be .NET 8. It's also short-term support, .NET 7 currently. That's the version that has support for a year and a half, unlike long-term support that has support for three years. And also there is available upgrades to the latest preview. And even if you're already on the preview and there is a new preview available, it will allow you to upgrade to the latest preview version of .NET. There's also, you probably noticed, .NET standard. That one we have for class libraries. If you're going to use your libraries in both .NET Framework and .NET uh, 6, 7, 8 applications, we recommend targeting .NET Standard 2.0. That way, your library will be compatible with all types of applications. Once I choose my desired .NET, I will see the components that Upgrade Assistant is going to upgrade. And if I want, I can uncheck something. I can go inside, check and check things. By default, everything is checked, and that's how I recommend to have it. And then I can click Upgrade Selection. So once I do that, I can see the progress of Upgrade Assistant updating my files. And when you see the field um, checkbox, like this one, that means that Upgrade Assistant updated this file. When you see not filled green checkbox. That means that this file was already compatible and Upgrade Assistant did not touch that. So after everything is upgraded, if I had some issues, I will be able to see that. Any errors in my case, 
I uh, succeeded for four files. One was skipped because it did not require any changes and zero failed. In this video, you've learned about Visual Studio extension for .NET Upgrade Assistant, the tool that will port your applications to the latest .NET. You can learn more at aka.ms slash .NET UA. Thanks for watching and happy porting.